King. Coffee Bay was a scratching on Angel's Wings, the pole marker. This is the feature event for the day. Three-year-olds and older at COC1, the Peak Hill X Services and Citizens Club final. A time-honoured event here at Peak Hill. Off the gate a little is our Bella Chimes. It's going to miss it a couple of lengths, in fact. In fact, a few off the back line have missed the start. And getting away nicely in the centre was the Rebel King for Snowy Edmonds. It's going to go to the lead and up on the outside in second spot, Sporty Shannon. Along the inside is on Angel's Wings. Got to sit and out three wide now, Carlu Quaid going forward. Getting a nice start was the favourite, A Life Under Fire. It's momentarily one by one and then we got a bit of a break to Charlotte's Delight. About five or six metres further back then to Swaggy Shannon. And then came Milton Cheney, another six or seven metres back. Eight or nine metres back, Chepeka Glory and another nine metres metres back last of all is our Bella Chimes. They're fairly well strung out over uh, plenty of territory as they turn to the top of the straight. Got just over a lap to travel and holding the inside and leading is the Rebel King. On the outside second, Carlu Quaid. Third on the inside is on Angel's Wings and one by one is Sporty Shannon. The last six horses all in the running line and they include a life under fire being tracked up by Charlotte's Delight, Swaggy Shannon, Milton Cheney, Chapeka Glory and last of all is our Bella Chimes. Out of the home straight, 30.2 the first quarter and in front is the Rebel King trying to do it all the way. It was the last start winner at Dubbo. It's got a King Brown advantage now to the good of Carlu Quaid. In behind the leader is on Angel's Wings on the outside. Next was Sporty Shannon from the favourite which is a f uh, life under fire. Back behind them next over on the inside is Charlotte's Delight. And then on the outside now, being uh, stoked along is Milton Cheney. Swaggy Shannon was next on the outside of those runners, hooking out three wide Chepeka Glory. And now Bella Chimes can see them all. They're about to run off the back straight. 31-2 that second quarter. 61 for the half. The leader has got away now. In fact, it's uh, a life under fire. Made it lightning move when I was going back through the field it's opened up a winning break get in the queue it's 20 metres in front the Rebel King second in third spot on Angel's Wings getting clear it's a fight for the minor placings getting along the inside next was Charlotte's Delight and then on the outside trying to make ground sporty Shannon how far this one times and margins please it's coming down to the line untouched John O'Shea a race to race double Charlotte's Delight probably get second just hanging on over the flashing home uh, our Bella Chimes fourth spot will go to the Rebel King a good effort from Swaggy Shannon Chepeka Glory and then came behind those runners next uh, would have been Carlu Quaid Sporty Shannon knocked up and on Angel's Wings last of all